Congratulations, Keaton. That's a well, it's a remarkable four <laughs> days of cricket, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it has been. I mean, obviously, day one, you that's been your, your sort of cricket narrative would tell you it's going to be a two day game. Um, but as it's turned out, it's been a really good game of cricket. It's been a good, um, good surface, um, two good sides sort of competing over the course of four days, which has been good fun. So, look, really tough. The lads have put in a probably holistically has been our best team performance over the course of this campaign. Um, so, yeah, look, it's good. It's, it's a really pleasing day. What a difference, not just a win makes, but what a difference <laughs> a performance makes, what a difference just the feeling around the place. It's it's so different to what we've seen, certainly over the course of the last three seasons. It's How oh. do you put your finger on that? It's, yeah, absolutely. Look, and I think it's, it's down to guys putting their hand up and leading their own space. It's guys putting in a performance, Wellesley getting 130-odd, um, putting the performance that the team required to try and get us into a winning position. And then this morning taking polls, um, uh, guys chipping into the new ball, Anderson, Bales, Will, Baldy, everyone, uh, the bowlers have to take 20 wickets to win the game, and they've, they've done that, which has been absolutely amazing. So, look, it's been it's been a really entertaining three and a bit days. Um, it just shows you cricket at EOT is, is, has been really good. Um, so, yeah, look, it's, it's awesome what the guys have produced over the last three days. And let's be honest, take us to the dressing room an hour after lunch on the first day. <laughs> because on the back of what had happened before... Mm you could be forgiven to think that could really unravel. The way you fought back, how proud are you of that? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, Boshi said it at lunch on day, I think it was day one, everything sort of blows into one, really. Um, he, he, Sorry, on day two, I think, when we had sort of bowled the guys out, um, he said we've the batters owe to the bowlers to make sure we get us into a winning position now. Um, bowlers wrestled us back into that, the, in the whole sort of fixture. Um, I thought we were under par first innings. And I thought some say we were under par first innings. I didn't think it was a 140 surface. Um, but then also didn't think it was a 400 surface, which we got onto. So, look, I think all in all, both sides competed, um, made errors and kind of led each other back into the game. Um, but, yeah, look, just, just really pleased. I think the guys could have at lunch really... Um, disintegrated um, that they didn't they've continued to fight like we have done over the whole sort of course of the campaign guys have tried they've tried the bollocks off all the way through they just haven't quite um, got it right like we did this game it was good that somebody went on to get a big hundred and really put us in a position where where we had a good total to bowl to on that mm. with with Luke what was that conversation like to when you spoke about him dropping down uh yeah look Wells he's, he's he's a fantastic team man he he realizes that he and I won't mind me saying this in an open forum he hasn't put in the performances he wants um as, as an opener he him more than anybody he works incredibly hard in his game he cares um, the amount of messages we've sent back and forth over what we can or should or would do it's he cares um so for him, he wants to contribute. You see what it means to him getting a wicked first ball of the day. He wants to win games of cricket. Um, so for him to go down to seven, I'll, I'll, I'll call it seven because that's a little more niggle for him. Um, <laughs> for, for him to go down to, to six um, and play, play a completely different role, which he's never played before in his yeah. career. I think a lot of people won't realize that. He's never batted six. Um, and go and do it with that composure, that... Um, that manner, um, just said yes and got on with the job that, that, that he had to do. He didn't throw his toys out the cot and say, no, opening the batting is my position. Um, so, look, I'll take him out to the, to, to the lad. Uh, he's a fantastic human, um, and I'm really glad he's put in a performance with bat and ball that has, has got us over the line. Yeah, he said to me last night, his first thought was, oh, I've let everybody down. Yeah. And, but then to have that ability to respond is, is terrific, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. I, I sent him a message after just to check in and see how he was um, after we made the call. And he said oh, he feels fine, he just feels guilty. Um, I think that speaks volumes of, of the person. He, he cares, he wants to do well, he wants to put in performances and win games of cricket. Nobody walks out on that field, I mean, I speak probably for the whole team there, nobody walks out on that field not wanting to perform. Um, I think maybe at times it's a perception that guys actually don't care. Guys love playing for Lancashire. Guys love pulling on a red rose jersey and going out and performing. So, well, is he more than, uh, no more, no more, no more or less than anybody else? Um, I'm just really happy that he's, he's put in that performance this week and absolutely over the moon for the bloke. It gave Harry Singh a chance at the top. I thought he played himself really well. It looked like a really encouraging start for him. What, what were your thoughts? Absolutely. It was hard work that day one. It was You're not going to get many more challenging environments against a really good attack on that type of surface on day one. Um, to make your first-class debut in, in that environment is, is quite hot. Um, and he did it beautifully. And then second innings, the way he applied himself allowed other lads, allowed the new ball to be blunted. 
uh, time into the seamers' legs. I think by the end of day two, Craig Overton had bowled 40 odd overs. So that blunting of the attack allows guys low down the order like Wellesley to go and perform and sort of get you out of um, out of not out of trouble but pull the game forward. So look, I know Singy would have liked to get more runs. Um, but the work he did at the top of the order allows other guys to go and perform and play free-flowing cricket that allows the game to move forward. So, look, Singy, uh, Rocky as well. Uh, Boshi, that innings he played second innings, was beautiful. Uh, Bali played beautifully. Baldy as well hung in. Um, you could see the determination on, on the lad's face. And then the way Baldy bowled as well um, uh, was, was fantastic. So, look, it's a good all-in-all all good team performance. Yeah, he spelled after T yesterday. I thought it was terrific. Superb. I, one, I half joked about taking the ball out of his hand after six overs, and he sort of half threw his toys out the concept. Just found my rhythm, and so <laughs> look, he's. I mean, like I say, the guys put in. I, I've never ever got the sense that once this year, the guys haven't wanted to show up and wanted to put in the performance. Um, we've just missed the mark with an execution point of view um, several times, um, which happens with the youthfulness in the environment. But that's it's no excuse. Uh, this game, we've got it right, and. This is what happens. Guys sort of learn the template of how to how to do it and how to string together performances. So hopefully this is a nice little stepping stone for us. Yep, you've given yourselves a chance, haven't you? It's still a, a big ask. It's 15 points, the gap, as I'm sure you're well aware. But you've given yourselves a chance. Is that the best situation you could be in, certainly on the back after the, those three successive defeats, that you're still in with a chance? Yeah, 100%. We've, we've in with a chance. You never know what happens next week. Maybe there's rain around, it gets taken out of our hands. Maybe Warwickshire uh, sort of absolutely obliterate knots and we beat Worcester and suddenly that it's completely different. So, look, all we can do is focus on what we can do. Uh, we can go down to Worcester, prepare well over the next few days, uh, get down there and play a good four days of cricket. Um, and hopefully that gives us a chance. Um, yeah, it's uh, look, we, it's, we've not necessarily let ourselves down in these two games. It's the games before where... We could have, should have, would have um, put in performances that maybe scrapped out a draw, which gives you that eight points and keeps you in the hunt. Um, so at this point, all we can do is make sure we go down in the best place and play good cricket. I know you well enough that you don't want to talk about yourself, Keaton, but congratulations, you've reached a thousand runs as an opening bat in a team that's had its struggles. Mm. That on a personal level must be a very kind of special feeling. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, uh, look, I've always said you want to put in performances that win you games of cricket. You don't want to play cricket uh, doing well not in an environment that, that you're winning so uh, look I want to win games of cricket I want to be in an environment that we learn how to win we learn how to compete for championships that's ideally what, what you want to do I think that means so much more than a personal 100 I've always believed that um, so yeah look obviously on a personal note it's fantastic but I think for a team hopefully some of the young lads have seen what a batter can do um, and you know the guys have had those conversations as well we've chewed the fat loads with the batters um, it doesn't mean it's going to be my year next year it doesn't mean it's not going to be my year, year next year it's you have to turn up and, and do it again so look pleasing but we've got to go again next week and try and win the game of cricket cheers Keaton cheers